Hello, welcome back to Channel Masala. I'm Sabari. Today we are going to discuss about the importance of language and the relation between language and grammar. What is a language? So, before we go into the topic in deep, let us discuss something general. What is the use of a language? A language is a structured system of communication. What do you mean by structured system? When we talk about the language, definitely it has a close relation with grammar. Without grammar, there is no language. Without language, there is no grammar. So they are like twin brothers. Do you understand? Language and grammar are twin brothers. Language is the method of communication, either spoken or written, consisting of uh, the use of words in a structured and conventional way. Even India speaks 1,500 plus languages. In another sense, we can take it. Language is a system of communication used by a particular country or community. Kerala speaks Malayalam, Tamil Nadu speaks Tamil, Andhra and Telangana speak Telugu language, Karnataka speaks Kannada. Likewise, it goes on. Language is a kind of a medium. What do you mean by medium? You would have heard about English medium, Tamil medium, Hindi medium, Malayalam medium, yes, etc. What do you mean by a medium? Medium is like a bridge. It connects one person's idea with another person's idea. How will you communicate? To communicate, we use a language. That medium is named as language. Yes. And today, we are discussing about English language. So, wherever you go, people talk English, walk English, sleep English, wake up English, think in English. Ha! Huh. <laughs> so, oh, um, he is speaking better English, I think uh, my language is not okay. Everyone will come across this problem. And uh, you know, one thing I need to say, inside our mind, all are Shakespeare's. When we come out, I mean, when you speak out, when you start listening to your own voice, you understand that oh, my voice is not okay, I have some grammatical issues, I feel shy to talk in front of the others what he will think, what she will think, that confusions are there. That, these are all the reasons you are not coming out. We need to overcome that. It is not a difficult issue. Everyone can overcome. In the beginning stage, I was also in the same like you. Why English is very important? English is very important because it helps you to get job anywhere inside and outside the country. For example, a person moving from Kerala or Tamil Nadu to any other state you may know the language or you may not know the language. 90% we are not aware of the other languages. So in this case, what connects you and the local man in that state? English. So English is a medium here. You pass your feelings through English language. Number one, it increases job opportunity. You learn physics in English. You learn zoology in English. You learn botany in English, even mathematics problems, except the numbers, the other things are in English. So wherever you go, English, 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 English. So English is very important. International communication through social media. When I was asked a question, how many friends do you have? I replied, one, two, but nowadays it's not like that. One, two and all nothing. Two thousand, three thousand. How come? It is something amazing. You cannot go with the 2,000, 3,000 friends. Then what is the meaning of friends? Friend means the person you share your feelings. You share your secrets. They are friends. You will not share your feelings with all the 2,000 on the Facebook. You will not share the feelings with all the 3,000 in Instagram. So you will share your feelings with one or two people where they are very near to you or away from you. They are named as friends. How can we put it in the term? I know many, but I have one or two friends. That is a proper way to say. I know many, but I have only one or two friends. Do you get me? Number three, uh, how will you communicate in a Facebook, Instagram? Of course, you type in English, you chat in English. Sometimes you go for a video call and you communicate in English. So English helps you to get more friends on social media. Because of English, you come to know many people through social media. Number three, Socializing. Socializing in the sense to participate in social activities. That means in, a, in another way I can say, you put yourself in the society, you mingle with the society. When you mingle with the society, you will use a language. So English language helps you to socialize with the people. Marriage function, birthday party, office get together, friends gathering. So 
wherever you go whatever the thing english plays the vital role english language helps you to socialize with the people in the society i should say one incident which happened in my life before 30 years i think so i was watching english movie on television one of my relatives saw and uh, she was wondering how at the small age you are able to understand that fluent language and she asked me a question do you understand this i said yes i do understand she got uh, frustrated oh my god i'm not able to understand anything when i try to understand catch one word they jump to 10 words so i'm not getting an interest to watch this actually it was my beginning stage primary stage i was watching the movie at the same time there was a subtitle scrolling at the bottom and i was reading that subtitle the best way to learn english language through entertainment is reading the subtitle and understanding the movie or if the subtitles are not given in the previous days if a movie is telecast in the television in the newspaper media they used to give the story in a nutshell before a day or in the very same day of the telecast what do we do just we read the nutshell of the story then we go and sit in front of the television not 100% we understand but anyway we are able to guess and understand we compare and contrast that means this is the story i read and the same incident happened we compare it and we understand english language helps you to understand entertainment to understand the other language movies in the beginning i told you that the language and grammar are the twin brothers we learned about language now we will learn a little about grammar define grammar Grammar is the collection of systematic structural rules governing the composition of tenses, parts of speech, active voice, passive voice, clauses, simple compound complex, and degrees of comparison, etc. Don't think that it is over. Grammar is an ocean. You must know the basic grammar to talk a decent language. And today you learnt about the importance of language and the relationship between language and grammar. That's all for today's video. Thank you very much. Meet you soon. Bye-bye.